Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of What Do You Need to Know to Live in Costa Rica? Today's topic, why buying a house is not the most important thing you need to do. Hey everyone, I am Patrick Jager, joined as always by my good friend and business partner, Mr. Aaron Bailey. Hey Aaron. Hello Patrick, good day, Pura Vida. Pura Vida, the beach looks pretty today. The beach is a little steamy today. It's humid and it's probably gonna rain. I'm here for it. I love the rainy season at the beach. I stay inside and things cool down. It's a nice life. Can't complain. Love it. We all wanna be you, Aaron. No, no, you don't wanna be me, trust me. (laughs) Trust me, I have a long uh, list of things to do to this house. Hey, Aaron, so today's topic uh, is a little bit of a bee in our bonnet, um, but before mm-hmm. we get to that, I'll let you intro the topic, but before we get to that, everybody, mm-hmm. hit that subscribe button, that thumbs up. Let us know that you really enjoy what we're doing because we really want this to be a community that grows because we're answering the questions that you want in an honest way. We're doing it differently. We're not here trying to hard sell anything. Uh, other than we are here, our service is to help you decide if you want to move here. End of That's story. Right. So if that is right for you, uh, then we'd love to work with you. Today's topic definitely is one of the things that we have a, uh, a, a an opinion on. Normally we plan these videos out, um, but we had just got off of a call with a client who I'm is still getting... A little, uh, I'm a little... Mm, we just got off a call with, with a client who is getting heavy pressure from a real estate agent to buy a house. Uh, they, came on, they came to Costa Rica on vacation, decided, yep, fantastic, I want to you know, move to Costa Rica, at least part time. And they had already talked to a real estate agent, which so many people do, they start their search with, with a real estate search. And the realtor is only in it to make the commission. To right? sell a house. Yeah. To sell a house. But that's what they do. Uh, but, but Patrick and I have a fundamental problem with that if you are considering uh, a new life in Costa Rica. We think that's the opposite way to do it. Figure out where in the country first and build a life around what your daily life will look like. And then figure out should you buy, should you rent, what type of house, all those things. All the things. Yeah, this has become, I mean, this really has, our, our, our new way of thinking about this or communicating it is if all you want is a, a rental house slash a vacation home, fine, do that. It, be in the town that you vacationed in, you love that town, great. But if you wanna live here, truly live here, Buying a house first is a massive detriment because now you're committed to a location, whether or not that's the, to Aaron's point, the right location for you, the right vibe for you, something you're gonna wanna thrive in. Um, The last thing we want for someone is to have buyer's remorse. We will, and we've done this a million times, let's tell our two stories because there's buyer remorse, you know, there's buyer remorse and then there's, I have to do a second thing anyway. So Aaron, you did yeah, this, you I, did this you know, version, you did the vacation version. I did, I did. And honestly, like I don't have remorse. This, this place has been so good to me. It's gorgeous. Um, but also I have a long chore list of things that I have to do this week while I'm here. Um, so, you know, my best friend and I were, were driving around Costa Rica on vacation and we stumbled across this beach and like, fell in love, there was no one on it. It's just a gorgeous beach, very chill. And then we saw a for sale sign. And three days later, we had left the country having made an off- offer on the house. Uh, Wire transferred the money and signed the paperwork. And, and then we left. Like, it, it was a very impulsive decision. Uh, and while it has worked out in many ways, in a lot of ways it hasn't, and I wish we would have actually done the research and considered what we wanted out of the situation instead of just starting with buying a house. Yeah, but there's also, I mean, there's, let's, let's go deeper into that story because the moral of the story is you don't live there. 
This is your <laughs> vac- this is your vacation house, but you basically ninety nine percent of the time this house is Airbnb because it's not the right place for you. That's right. Yeah, I I originally moved here when I moved to Costa Rica full time. I originally moved into this place for a month, and I was like, I'm going to go crazy. I cannot be on vacation twenty four seven. 365. Uh, this location is beautiful, but there's no community here. And uh, I needed community, so I rented a, an apartment in San Jose. It's great to have this place. I love it. I love coming here on a weekend when it's not rented out. Um, but honestly, even now, doing, you know, now that I know the country extensively, I probably would have bought somewhere else at the beach if I had the money to buy a beach house. And you're lucky, you had the income that you could buy Airbnb it and rent something else. A lot of the people that we work with are looking for their one and done. Like they have one choice. I mean, I did the opposite. I I don't need to go deep into this, everyone knows the story, but like I kinda knew the parts of the country because we knew we didn't want the beach, we didn't want, uh, we wanted to be within two hours of SEMA hospital. So, So we kinda just, did this, but I came multiple times for multiple weeks at a time. Like, okay, now I'm going to coordinate over here, and where I'm going to look over here. And there are still days I have buyer's remorse. Like, am I am I happy in my house? But quite frankly, that's true of every house I've ever bought. But the difference is, I know for a fact that I'm in the right community with the right resources and the right everything. And um, you know, if you have if you have the money to have and uh, a, a vacation slash income property, and that's what you're looking to do, great. great. We'll make a recommendation for a realtor. But if you want a life here, you gotta come, at the very least, you gotta come scout. And a scout isn't just going and staying at a hotel. A scout is going to multiple places that might work for you, staying in Airbnbs, getting to know the resources, getting to know the, the grocery stores, you know, there's some beautiful beaches that people move to, and then there's like, there's nothing here. There's no infrastructure. I have to drive an hour and a half to shop. If that might work when you're on vacation, I don't know if that's something someone wants to do consistently. Right. Um, like we said, so many people come here on vacation and see an, uh, an agent's uh, advertisement, and a sign or in a, in a publication, and they call them up and say, can I look at houses? You're wasting that agent's time. They've, they so often get these people, and very few of them follow through with, with buying something. Um, and like I said at the, at the top, like the, they are in it to make money off of you, a commission off of you. Uh, not to help you figure out your entire life here in Costa Rica. Right. Right. They do not want to hear your story. They don't need to hear your story, exactly. No. They're going to like, what's your budget? But you know who does want to hear your story? These guys. We do. We do. Yeah. We're because that's this. what we do. I mean, our whole yeah. purpose, truly, at Your Puerto Vida is to help you figure out, is this right for you? How might that work? Where will that work? And then get you here and help you thrive. Like if you if you come to us and say, oh, I already know the neighborhood I want to work on. You don't need us. I mean, you really do need us, but ostensibly you've already made up your mind on something that is monumental. You'll regret. We have a client right now who had a very large plan. I want to go here, here, and here. I'm going to do a month in each place. It's going to be this thing. They are now committed to one area because they went and they scouted and they understand it and they see how it's going to adapt to them. And um, now they're going into it with, okay, let's really start talking about what this means to move here. And so they're actually committed to that. Would you move to Toronto or Paris or and based on based on a house? I hope not, because right. just because like it's funny. Almost all of our clients are not living where they would vacation. They're right. living where they can live. Vacation towns, some people live in vacation towns, some of our clients live in vacation towns, but the predominant of them are like, I loved X, I loved Tamarindo, but I don't want to live in a vacation town. Well, if all you saw was Tamarindo and you buy your house, you're going to realize that after you buy your house. Right. Absolutely. Rant so we would love to over. work with you. Okay, rant over, yes. We would love to work with you. We would love to have this conversation with you and help you to navigate that process. Hola at yourpuravita.com. Shoot us an email. Seriously, don't be shy of, of sending us an email. We love getting emails. We respond to all of them. 
shoot us an email and we can um, send you a, a slot to uh, get on a Zoom call with us or we can have a conversation via email back and forth. Uh, our website has all sorts of, of resources that we'd love for you to take a look at. yourpervita.com backslash links. Um, and shoot us a comment on this video and let us know how did you do move to Costa Rica? Did you move to Costa Rica? How are you considering it? Did you start with the real estate and work your way uh, backwards or did you start with uh, the picture of what life could be like and then eventually found your, your place to rent or buy? So Patrick, this has been a good I conversation. We, we needed to get this off of our chests. <laughs> uh, yes. So and, and just so you know, like, we yeah. talked this client off the ledge. Everything's great. Yes. You know, but but uh, yeah, it definitely is a hot button. Absolutely. So until next time, Patrick. Next rant. Puerto Vida. Puerto Vida. <laughs>